Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. I'd like you to prophesy to yourself in one minute. No force is capable of hindering the purposes of God over my life. Shake away unbelief, shake away limitations. I may not look like it, but the Spirit of God is doing something. You may not feel like a man of God, but the anointing is within your horizon. There's no plan of darkness that is able to thwart the purposes of God over your life. Can you prophesy to yourself? Go into the place of destiny by the anointing, by the power of the Holy Ghost. There is no power, no force. The gates of hell does not sustain the ability to stop me. I decree and declare that I am rising by the Spirit. Hallelujah. This, this is already a message to someone. Because you see, brothers and sisters, this life has a way of taking away your gaze from Jesus. Some of you had to trek to come here. And while you were trekking, the devil told you, where is the grace you claim you have for prosperity? Some of you had to fight all kinds of battles to be here. But let me tell you, if your life were ordinary, the devil will not waste his time around you. There was something the spirit of the Antichrist saw with the star and began to manipulate Herod to look for where Jesus is. Satan has refused to let you go because there is something in your life and around your destiny that makes him uneasy. And in the name of Jesus, I declare to you again that no power, it's already too late, no power, no power of hell will stop you. You see, for as long as it is night, you will continue to weep. But when light comes, this light we are talking about, the Bible says there were many lights. Buddhism has some light. Occultism has some light. They manipulate things. But the Bible says he made two great lights. Great lights. The lights that rule in the day and the lights that rule in the night when the sun shines you wonder if there are stars again all of a sudden the brilliance that is the same way god does not bless you by just prophesying to you alone he blesses you by getting you filled with his light you become so full you turn back and can't find darkness again the bible says in john chapter one listen carefully and verse five it says the light shineth in darkness the light the word that you have that has been brought to you by the spirit is capable of dispelling any darkness 
so brothers and sisters let me encourage you you may look around your life and not find any traceable evidence that rewards your hunger and your passion for God and the devil will want to lie to you to say for how long will you continue seeking him without a sign let me tell you this do you know in the spirit five minutes to your breakthrough it will still not be like it but all of a sudden he said in a moment in a twinkling of an eye your life will just shift and change in a way that will bless you that's how God lifts people please I want you to be very intentional about your expectation God is not a fool he doesn't call the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain creator of the universe what can't you do what can't you do over your life before you sit down Psalm 45 Shabrando Zikatulia Hasarabale Psalm 45 The Lord just put it in my spirit to prophesy over your life Words are powerful Realities are created through words 45 verse 12 it says and the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift it says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor there is listen I taught you something we are, we are going to teach on something but it's just a grace that came on me now listen to me listen you see brothers and sisters everything in life that we know is bought with money is that true do you agree with me but do you know that money itself is a product that is bought with something come promise promise once a phone listen carefully and then I give him money this money can buy a phone do you agree what if it is money he wants what can I give him to buy money? The name of what you give that buys money is what the Bible calls true riches. True riches. It is true riches that can purchase unfaithful mammon and alongside with it buy every other thing. The peace, the joy, the influence. Are we together? There is something in this kingdom that buys every other thing. On earth, this looks like the highest, most valuable thing. When you possess this, you can make any noise and ramble and talk rubbish. But in the kingdom, there are realities that we possess. Listen carefully. And the Bible says, with it, everything, whether this, whatever it is you can possess is is called the true riches there are seven of this spiritual capital one of them is called light we buy things with light the power light is capital in the spirit the anointing is capital in the spirit words are capital in the spirit In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I speak over you that in this season, 
I program a climate of spiritual reality above you and I declare may it begin to call strange levels of lifting in your life may it begin to call strange levels of honor to your life may it begin to call strange levels of speed in your life we are going to sit down shortly let me pray for the grace for speed now listen be sensitive because the people the anointing will come on sometimes they can attempt to run physically so you hold them so they don't scatter anywhere right now I stretch my hands the grace that came upon Elijah that caused him to overtake the chariot of Ahaz by this apostolic and prophetic grace I stand in the office of my call I shift you by speed enter a new dimension in the name of Jesus speed 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 I prophesied in one day let Zion be born I command speed speed in your finances speed in your spiritual life speed in every area of your life whatever level you have been in spiritually and you have refused to shift I stand by prophecy and I shift you to a new dimension new level of prophecy new level of revelation new level of encounters new levels of signs and wonders receive it in the name of Jesus It is what is on you that controls what is around you are you hearing what I'm saying in this kingdom it is the spiritual climate above you I'm speaking by the spirit it is the spiritual climate above you that controls the realities that are captured in your life it takes more than desire it takes more than zeal again I'm speaking to you any climate over you that is drawing things in your life that are putting you in trouble any climate that is refusing you from rising you are a man of God with an anointing yet doors are not opening because there is a climate in the name of Jesus I command that climate to live your life now down shortly lift your hands I want to pray on your hands not you just your hands it was with the hand Moses held the rod he says and with these hands you will do signs and wonders I stretch my hands to your hands and by the spirit I make contact with your hands may these hands carry strange fire fire for signs fire for wonders you lay these hands and change the destinies of men you lay these hands and speak the purposes of the kingdom. Everything these hands come upon, I declare that it is anointed. It will be an instrument of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down if you can. Just, just leave those under the anointing. Please sit down. Hey, 
la barando sale le catia cala barata le gete coratis sala barota sodo balada balada Hallelujah. You see, if the power of God cannot come and change you, then you are wasting your time. Brothers and sisters, I am ministering to you what the Bible calls true riches. This is God's justice system. Oh, I didn't, I was not so educated. Oh, I was not this. I didn't have wealthy parents. But there is something that can come upon men and help them. You are receiving the help of God. God doesn't just help people by wishing. He puts something upon your life. I've taught you this. What is on you is what controls what is around you. Not what you want. Not what men say. They can talk nonsense from morning till night. If you ever turn and see strange results in your life whether you know it or not there is something controlling it if a man ever looks at you and says i want to bless you nobody has the heart to do it on his own no sir if as a man of god you ever call for a solemn assembly and people come there is something on you it's not about stories and nonsense What is upon you is what controls what is around you. I repeat, what is upon you? If you desire something around you and it's not there, don't look for it. Look for what must come upon you to bring that thing you desire. Always like you, Lord, in all the earth. Much less love and beauty endless work nothing in this world can satisfy Jesus you're the cause that will run dry treasure of my heart and of my soul My witness, you are merciful. Redeemer of my past and present wrong. You're the holder of my future days. And all my days on earth, I will away. The moment that I see you face to face For nothing in this world is satisfied Jesus, you're the God that won't run dry Yes, you are the God that won't run dry other things can run dry. But Jesus, you're the car that won't run dry. Jesus, you're the car that won't run dry. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are gathered here and we will always allow you to build, to change to lift <sighs> any spirit within this vicinity that is not of the Christ I stand here right now if there be any force any yoke, any agreement upon anyone's life, I speak right now. Be 
set free be released now every other influence on your life that is not of the Christ bringing you oppression programming failure to your life I stretch my hands and I command liberty right now in the name of Jesus please be seated God bless you This is Koinonia. The anointing that comes upon you when you come here is the Holy Spirit doing something within you. Because the words that you are hearing are not just carnal words. It's not just a lecture. The words you are hearing is spirit and life. So while the word is coming, something, an anointing, one of the true riches of the kingdom comes with the word too if you believe what I'm teaching you you will so dominate life in a way that will surprise you when you do not possess the riches of the spirit then every other thing becomes Lord over your life but those who dominate in this kingdom are those who possess the true riches of the kingdom Hallelujah. I have a new topic tonight, but last week um, I was to give us six points on what the secret place is. I gave us five and we had to stop because of the time. Let me quickly give us the last one. Please, you can, um, especially if you were here, just go back to your notes and I'll give you the last point very quickly and then we'll go tonight's discussion we discussed last week that the secret place is a place of brokenness we discussed that the secret place is a place where we obtain mercy that the secret place is a place of revelation where the mysteries and the strategies of the spirit are revealed to men especially the mysteries that's responsible for your destiny I'm lifting your family, said the Spirit of God. No, this is not this is not for everybody. I'm speaking to someone now. I'm lifting your family. It will be like a dream. It will be like a dream. I'm lifting your family. 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 Lifting your family. The Lord is bringing, bringing a long period of struggle for a family to end that's what the lord is doing the confusion of many years coming to end within a week completely within a week Lord is speaking to someone here and he's saying I will visit you again of course everyone can receive but this is a particular revelation God is saying I am coming to you again the way I came before I am coming again I am coming again it will be in this month this month of June He will come to you again with a very strange encounter and you will receive something from that encounter that will change your life in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated so we said that number four that the secret place is a place where we find rest and comfort rest and comfort and then number five we said the secret place is a place of revival and restoration revival revival of fire revival of love revival of passion 
revival of grace revival of mantles revival of new dimensions in the spirit and then i'll give you the last one and then we'll go this is not the topic for today i just want to make sure we complete the note that the secret place is the place of spiritual empowerment we gain power not by strolling on the seat it is in the secret place that we find true spiritual power in a secret place you get the anointing for your personal life and in the secret place you get the anointing to accomplish God's agenda for a season you can be anointed as a believer but not anointed to be relevant for a season listen very carefully it is possible that I'm anointed if you come to me I can pray for you but as far as God's agenda within a territory is concerned it's possible that you are not relevant there is a special anointing that one is not the anointing for a believer that one is not even the anointing for your call and office it is the anointing that makes a man relevant within a season that's why you see many anointed people become voiceless after certain seasons they are still anointed they still love God but the anointing to play a key role in God's program is not there so although they are anointed you still get blessed but it's very clear that the lampstand is not on them within that season the Lord put a very serious topic in my heart tonight that I want to share tonight's topic is going to challenge you is going to inspire you and is going to provoke you pray in the spirit for one minute just do what I'm asking you to do pray in the spirit just pray in the spirit for one minute just be sensitive to the instructions you're allowing your spirit to contact something while you pray. Don't stop, keep praying. God most high, Jesus Christ is the Elyon of Israel. Elyon, God most high, Jesus Christ is the Elyon of Israel. God most high, Jesus Christ, Please be seated if you can. Hallelujah. sit down get something to write if you can unless understand what the Lord wants to help us I'm not sure we'll be able to complete it tonight contending for kingdom relevance 
part one. Mm. Contending for kingdom relevance, part one. Contending for kingdom relevance, part one. This is a very powerful teaching that seeks to show you how you can become a voice. You can represent the voice of God to a generation and you can rise to a position of kingdom influence. Remember, we're still in a season where God has declared that he's lifting men. Acts chapter 13 and verse 36. Please give it to us. Just sit where you are. Just sit where you Something is lifting from your life. Lifting from your life. Lifting from your life. I change that situation now. I change that situation now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I change that situation now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I change that situation now. For David, please give us Amplified. He says for David after he had served God's will and purpose and counsel but he served it in his own generation he said fell asleep and was buried but he said David served God in his generation it's not enough to serve God is enough to serve God within the context of a generation. Are we together now? There are mandates that are left for generations. Every generation has a spiritual curriculum about God and his purposes that God intends for them to accomplish. And hear me your relevance within a generation is predicated upon your understanding your generation and knowing the corporate mandate that god has put upon that generation you can live within a generation and serve god but serve god in a way and manner that does not influence a generation it's not enough to serve god you must serve god in a way and a manner that brings the purposes of God to a generation. And this is what I want to teach you tonight. He said, David served God's will and purpose and counsel in his own generation. Not another generation. Everyone that the Bible records that was used by God was used within the context of a generation listen very carefully if you miss relevance within your generation then you have missed relevance forever are we together i think i was teaching in lagos during the younger gilded program and i gave them an illustration no matter how anointed i am anybody above 55 years is not within the scope of my generation no matter how i love them they will be blessed from my life but they will quickly go to papa Oyedeko and papa deboe 
because those are the voices of that generation are you getting what i'm teaching you now it's not enough to seek relevance you must seek relevance within the context of a generation your voice does not speak to every generation there is a generation where your relevance is allocated to god sends men not just to places he sends men to a generation and if you cannot identify your generation of impact and influence then you will live a very useless life and david after he served the will of god there are some things that are allowed in other generations that are not allowed in others are we together every time god was about to move within the scope of a generation he would find a man or he would find men and then begin to introduce them to the dynamics of relevance and greatness contending for kingdom relevance there are things that we need to know if we are to rise to a point of kingdom influence and relevance and have taught us again and again in this place that kingdom relevance is very important to have kingdom influence and it is also very important to be able to speak the purposes of God when you are unable to represent the purposes of God within a generation then you may not be able to to influence that generation judges chapter 6 please very quickly we are going to read from verse 11 judges chapter 6 this was an encounter that the lord had with a young man called gideon verse 11 and there came an angel of the lord and sat under an oak which is in Ophrah, and pertained to joash and all of that and his son gideon gideon threshed wheat by the wine press to hide it from the midianites remember they were being threatened by the midianites and the angel of the lord appeared unto him and said the lord is with thee O mighty man of failure and gideon answered and said unto him O my lord if the lord be with us why then is this befallen us and where be all his miracles which our father told of saying this the lord not do this and that and that for him and the lord looked upon him and said go in this thy might and thou shalt save israel from the hand of the midianites have i not sent thee it didn't look to gideon like he was sent but God said, have I not sent thee with a message and a mandate to a people? Next verse 15. And he said unto him, listen, listen carefully. He said, oh my Lord, wherewith shall I save where? Not the whole world. Israel. You have sent me with a message. But that message is to a people and a context. He said, behold, this is my limitation my family is poor in manasseh and i am aside from the fact that the family is poor i am the least in my father's house look at the excuse he's giving god is telling him i am lifting you and then he says i cannot do the assignment because of two things one poverty there is a relationship between poverty and lack of influence and lack of relevance number two lack of greatness i am small my family is small and yet even in that family i am the least 
in my father's house 16 hallelujah hallelujah and the lord said unto him surely i will be with thee and because of my presence with thee thou shalt smite the midianites as one man follow me very carefully tonight Psalm 24 and verse 6. He said, This is the generation. Not this is the person. Listen carefully. This is the generation that has a mandate as a generation to seek God, but to seek God in the similitude of Jacob. Listen very carefully. He's saying the word, O Jacob, there is O God of Jacob. He said there is a generation mandated by God to seek God in the similitude of Jacob. Are we together now? When God tells you to search for him, he looks for human references that are reflections of that expectation. Are we together? When God wants to teach believers to love, he will lift up John and tell them to study his life. When God wants to teach people how to walk in the blessing, he lifts up Abraham and tells them to study his life. In James chapter 5, when God is teaching people how to pray strategic prayer, he lifts up a prophet called Elijah and says, study him. When God wants to teach people on faith, he lifts up Peter when god wants to teach men on revelation he lifts up paul the apostle are we together now so god is very figurative in his expression for you to understand this scripture you have to go back to genesis 28 and genesis 32 and study how jacob sought god because he said the mandate that was on one man jacob is a mandate that one day will come upon a generation that a generation will be mandated to seek the face of God in the similitude of Jacob are we together God appears to Jacob in chapter 28 and until that time listen carefully there was no God of Jacob when God revealed himself he said I am the God of Abraham there was a way I taught Abraham to seek me. There were possibilities about me that no one had known. But my encounter with Abraham introduced the world of men to these possibilities. The God of Abraham. Then Isaac the son used the God of Abraham to create the God of Isaac. The God of Abraham was a springboard. The mysteries of God that his father knew. And out of his own dealings with God, God created a name called the God of Isaac. By the time we get to Psalms here, Jacob had done his own too. And God names himself by a man's experience with him. Jacob's encounter is so powerful that God's covenant people were not named after Abraham. They were not named after Isaac. They are not called the Abrahamites. They are not called the Isaacites. They are called the Israelites, not even the Jacobites. So powerful was this encounter that God said, the generation that wants to know me must seek me in the similitude of Jacob. You want to influence a generation? God is lifting her, Dr. Alima. I'm seeing her climb a ladder. The Spirit of God is lifting her to a higher level of influence. That's what, that's what I'm seeing in the Spirit. You want to be relevant to a generation. If you love God 
and you desire that through your life his purposes be established then you must contend for kingdom influence i've taught you again and again in this place that kingdom advance is a product of two things one is global evangelization number two influence the purposes of the kingdom must be established in the hearts of men through evangelism and then through influence must be established across every strata of human activities are we together and so you must know how to birth the purposes of god and i want you to follow me as i share with you there are certain things in the spirit that when you touch you will never be irrelevant please listen to me but most of what it takes to be relevant believers are not seeking it we are seeking nonsense all around yet we are looking for kingdom relevance the things that make for relevance in this kingdom are spiritual in context first in that order we are searching for mundane and carnal things that do not have the fortitude to give men a voice in a generation that's why I shared with you the secret place before coming to this topic. And David served his generation. I hope you know, listen very carefully. I hope you know that when the Holy Ghost came upon the apostles in Acts chapter 2, from then onwards, the strategic apostles that were listed in the Bible were not the only ones who received there were many other people but a few people grew to a point where their voices echoed through history to the point that they were captured in this bible when you study history not just bible history you study history and archaeology you will find out that many other spiritual things happen concurrently as at the time certain historic writings were being written spiritual things but they were not relevant to the context and the program of god within a generation it's amazing how people think because they are born again or they have a church or they have revelation they will continue to be relevant in god's program for all seasons no sir I have seen extremely anointed men and women of God and I have seen the boundaries of their relevance with respect to a generation. I have seen people who are not too anointed but I've seen them at the epicenter of a generation's relevance. There are men and women who would look at people like Joel Austin and look at people like Joyce Mayer and um, if you're one who is into the things of the spirit, fasting, prayer, with all honor and respect you may not so much appreciate their ministry because of the context of their communication it sounds very basic yet in a way that looks as though it's a charm they have commanded the attention of a generation effortlessly unbendingly they have entered their sabbath in relevance and yet again and again we find anointed men miracle workers still crouching scrounging at the doorways the corridors of relevance understand what i'm teaching you tonight and you will enter your sabbath there will be no need for competition there will be no need for unhealthy comparison because you will know that the keys of a generation has been given to you <laughs> you have captured my heart consume my heart with your love you have captured my heart consume my heart with your love one more time My heart is yours. 
that David so served his generation he peeped into another generation that was not his own and he wanted to still negotiate and God said no 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 you have tried Abba he wanted to start building a temple to start the mandate of another generation and God said you have tried you have tried you have tried David you have served God you have shed blood in the process just relax let your son take over and he said I must still contribute let me gather the materials and God said this man David you you are a man after my own heart and because of that you may not serve in that generation but I will show you look at the Messiah and David saw a vision the Lord said to my Lord sit down that was the coronation of Jesus he said David so long he, he mastered his generation there was no other voice speaking Samuel was a man who held the keys to the voice of God in his generation you could brag and talk nonsense but if you did not find Samuel you would keep crying it wasn't pride oh God is everywhere yes but there are gatekeepers Samuel Samuel to the point that when a man was about to step into the anointing God had to use a coincidence to lead him to Samuel the Bible says of Samuel that none of his words, none of his words fell to the ground. But remember before Samuel started, there was a man called Eli that served the priesthood of his time. There was a period of more than 500 years of darkness from Malachi till the appearance of John after prophet malachi it was somewhat a very dark season for the church no prophecy no nothing everything and all of a sudden a young boy born to a man who began to manifest a level of priesthood called john the prophet was in the wilderness and all of a sudden for the first time they would encounter a prophetic voice they had lost touch with prophecy and then john was so wise he knew when his relevance was coming to an end and when jesus show up showed up this is what he said that i may decrease i have exhausted myself jesus listen john remained relevant because he announced jesus and he kept upholding jesus the moment he brought Jesus down, he died too with him. Although his mandate was over, he said, who is the next? Let me uphold him. Let me give you this secret. I want to teach you something powerful. If you are in ministry, never fight your sons. A father that fights his sons loses his honor. A son that fights his father loses his life. There are punishments allocated for the various offenses. Every time you see God lifting a man, join to lift it. If the last move of God always fights the next move of God, chances are that when we are in the program of God and a shift begins to happen and God begins to raise other voices, the, the threat of feeling irrelevant begins to make people to not want to partner with what God is doing. And they now begin to fight it. And you cannot fight what is of God. You will go down. And so they go down together with it. Do you know why David's name still remained relevant? Lord, you will not allow me to build a temple. You said I've shed innocent blood. I would have been offended and David's name would have gone down. But he said, no, Solomon, I will gather the materials for you. Build the house. I will gather the material. Everybody who partnered with everything God was doing also remained relevant. That was the wisdom of the woman with the alabaster box. I'm a prostitute. I mean, I don't have a name. But Jesus, can I partner with your relevance? And Jesus said, anywhere they talk about me, this woman too, her story will be remembered. 
there are people all across this nation and all across the earth who by either because their assignment has come to an end or their lack of spiritual alignment has edged them out of God's program once upon a time they were at the epicenter of God's program but either because of pride or disalignment or just the assignment coming to end you know why Billy Graham remained relevant he knew when he had served his generation and he created a legacy institute and all he was doing till he died was lifting all those who it was their generation and although he's dead he has been immortalized through his ability to lift men same thing with my dear mentor eternally dr miles monroe he died but his books brought him back to life he said body you can be laid to rest mind stand up and keep speaking miles monroe is still alive his body is in the grave but his mind is still in us we have kept him alive because he saw a generation one of the last books that he wrote before he died was passing it on the mystery not everybody will be relevant for our generation once upon a time papa ea adeboye grew with a generation and today he is old with that generation no matter how prophetic you are your mother would prefer to listen to papa ea adeboye than you i said it in lagos that even if i cut a human head and throw it down and carry it up and fix it back to show how powerful i am an old man will look at me and say wow young man i'm impressed let me go to redemption camp quickly i'll see you later because even if they come for this program you were not sent to that generation the voice that grew with that generation is the voice that represents the purposes of god to them listen demons know this occultists know this believers do not know how to grow with a generation such that you become a dimension of god the four faces at the throne represented different dimensions of god what i am teaching you tonight will keep you relevant because by the time you are establishing this kingdom your generation will know you to be the face of something about god to them every time you talk of prosperity we go to some adeemi for his generation when you talk about faith and signs and wonders am i not a man of faith but you see our parents will not come to me as that reference i didn't grow with that generation to represent that dimension of god i'm teaching you how you cannot be erased in the purposes of god you want to stay relevant is more than making money you must represent a dimension of god to a generation and grow with them knowing you to represent that by the time they are established they will educate themselves to look up to you by grace as a revelation of that dimension who is the samadhi of our generation who is the bishop Oyedeko of our generation who is the papa Ia deboy of our generation who is the wf kumuyo of our generation who is the apostle babalola of our generation it's not just giving yourself titles i'm apostle nonsense i'm i'm prophet rubbish that's not the issue it's about staying it is your generation that will call you not you the bible said they shall call you the reward for being branded to represent a dimension of god is the name they call you are we together some of us your ministries right now have a lot of small children and teenagers and you are embarrassed because you are hoping that rich millionaires of 60 years will start coming to your church you better thank god for sending a generation for you to grow with them are we together 
I remember years ago when he and I started, there were a lot of young people, students all around, and people would just look at it like a children's on the school class. And I said, oh dear. Those people that are children are now workers scattered all around. You see that? If Papa Ia Deboe says all believers in Nigeria fast for three days, whether you're a member of Redeem or not, you are going to fast. If your pastor said don't fast, you just respect him and pass and say nonsense. You just started a church two years ago and you are telling me to disobey a man. He has represented the voice of God, not just to Nigeria, but to the world. Contending for kingdom relevance. I will never lead a group of people who are anointed and not relevant. I have studied the systems of the kingdom and I have studied the limitation of the ignorance of anointed men of God. Men and women of God, especially in this nation, are very ignorant when it comes to the strategies for kingdom advance. The scope of our relevance is building individual capacities to love God. But the strategy for kingdom advance is seldom understood. And our generation is at the mercy of a bridge, a repairer of the bridge. Otherwise, we will have very heavy spiritual capacities and lose a voice territorially. Are we together? Praise the Lord. Five keys. Let me not waste your time. Straight to the point. Five keys. You want to serve your generation? Please, I want you to listen very carefully. To become influential enough to establish the purposes of, of the purposes of God within a generation. Number one, you must know God. You must know God. You want to serve the purposes of God. You must know God. Not you may know God. Not you can know God. You must have an encounter with God. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. The Bible ties exploits even within a generation to the knowledge of God. Are we together? It says such as do wickedly against the covenant he shall corrupt by flatteries he said but the people that do know they are God they are God let me tell you what that means to know God is not just to know the general God you must know the God revealed to your generation if you are in Jacob's generation and you know the God of Abraham alone you will not be relevant in Jacob's generation Every generation has a dimension of God revealed to it. Whoever finds that dimension is the person who becomes relevant within that context. Are we blessed? But the people that do know their God, they shall be strong and shall do exploits. Listen to me. In this kingdom, it is your fraternity with the spirit realm that culminates to your dominion and your victory ask any great man if they are honest enough they will tell you there is a certain level in this kingdom and in the world today you cannot rise beyond without a fraternity with the realm of the spirit whether in business in ministry listen carefully career whatever it is If you ever see anyone commanding any dimension of superior results whether through occultism whether in the secular or whatever i can tell you beyond the secular knowledge and all of those things a time came in their lives when they became assisted by the realm of the spirit for 30 years jesus as the word the living logos was powerless but when the holy ghost came upon him that partnership turned him into Christos, the Christ, the anointed one, the Messiah. You must know God. You must know God. Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23 to 24. Please give it to us quickly. Jeremiah chapter 9. Thus saith the Lord, not an angel, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom 
our generation has many wise men who are poor many wise men who are broke many wise men who are not relevant at all the bible says first things first he didn't say wisdom is not important let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the mighty man glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches 24 but let him that glorieth glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me that's the pride of the believer your the foundation of your confidence in life should never be because of the car that is parked outside because of the food that is on your table because of your degree that is in your drawer are we together no all those things only make sense when you are centrally connected to god those who will be relevant in these end times those who will defy the operation of demons those who will defy the causes and the yokes of culture those who will defy all the manipulations of darkness they are not just well-meaning people but those who know their god understand it and know it me are we blessed you go and prescribe this to someone who wants to be great and see how he will frown at you he won't exactly hate it he will just smile and be angry because he believes that when you want to be great just teach him business principles do this do that quickly you want to be great oh let me teach you on book publishing book publishing is the art of a that gives b this to c all those things are rubbish if you don't know god one yoke from your village can rewind your success is all you are you are you are laboring for nothing the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning hear me nigerians wake up in the morning and sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow that's why many hard-working people are angry they look at life and say it's not fair and you are right I was a graduate since 1961 and I've not built a house now. And look at all these small, 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 small boys. Sorry for you. The foundation of relevance for every generation is not just your connection to God, but your knowledge of God. When last did you ever see this being prescribed as a formula for greatness? And please, those of you here who are into personal development and the rest is wonderful. When you are teaching the secular, you go ahead. But when you are mentoring people, let the foundation of growth be the realm of the spirit. Are we together? You know, you talk like this and a lot of people believe that you don't know what you are saying. You don't know anything about secular success. You are wrong. You are wrong. You must know God. Jacob had an encounter with God. A nation has never been named after you. A nation has never been named after your father and my father. Listen carefully. A nation has never been named even after your president. There is, I'm not sure of any nation in the world that has been named after a man. So when a man is so relevant that God's nation is named after him, study how he rose up like that. The foundation was not intelligence. The foundation was an encounter. Genesis chapter 28. When you read from 11 to 17. He lighted upon a place and lay down on a stone to sleep. And the Bible says, when you begin to read down to 17, that a ladder was connecting the earth to heaven. Listen very carefully and then at the top of it give us verse let's see verse 13 or 14 and listen behold the lord stood above it let's hear what god is saying god said i am the god of who god himself is calling himself the god of abraham so it's not something men are calling god himself called himself not i am the king of kings i am the god of abraham I am the God of Isaac. Stop. 
no other person had been interested in knowing me enough to add to the list that means it was never supposed to just stop as the god of israel i am the god of abraham the god of isaac i am the god of jacob uh-huh i am the root of david david added himself i am this and that then joshua selman too comes to add himself so that our children when you say i'm not saying you should say the god of joshua selman i'm just teaching you how it is when you say the god of joshua selman it's not the same as the god of abraham i don't know what abraham saw i don't know what what his business was with god but there is a dimension you hear the people say the god of our fathers had appeared to me at that time jacob had not yet been in the list he says the land where out thou will this and that and that and that and then jacob woke up in the morning and said the lord was in this place and i knew not how terrible he said this is the house of god the gates of heaven the next encounter will be in chapter 32 and verse 22 please give it to us we are reading down to 30 chapter 32 from verse 22 22 32 22 chapter 32 and verse 22 let me read it from here chapter 32 and verse 22 and he rose up that night jacob now and took his two wives and his two women servants and his 11 sons and passed over forth jabbok 23 we're reading to 30 and he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had 24 and jacob was left alone jacob got to a point where everything that represented his relevance he had to give it away wives go possessions go everything go and when he was alone the reason why many of us may never encounter god is because there are many things together with us your money is still there your house is still there every other thing is there but when you are left alone he says and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of day 25 and when he saw that he prevailed not against him he touched the strongest part that means you have been strong by yourself without me i see that you so love your decree to a point that every time i say i'm lifting you you smile and say it's because i'm an engineer of course i should be lifted it's because i'm a doctor it's because i'm an architect lord i know that contract and god's touched that area and said it may not always be by what you call strength it is by my strength and the hall of jacob's tie was out of joint and he wrestled with him 26 and he said let me go god now for the day breaketh and he said jacob may that be someone's testimonial that you say lord in this generation i don't just want to be a story i will hold on to you and people say look everybody is getting a job oh, everybody is moving and you say just leave me may god bless you but lord i cannot leave this place you see many graduates make a foolish mistake the moment they write their last exam they pour mineral on their head and joke around and play around tap water and immediately they are done they carry their bag and run and join the queue of confusion when you should stay back and have a two weeks retreat and lie down near one tree and say lord i'm not leaving this place until i f what will i tell my generation that I went to school for five years is that enough to give you a voice I entered somewhere in Abuja and the receptionist had three MSCs receptionist three MSCs I said if you come to this place and it's grammar you want to talk you will be a foolish person three two of them were abroad and then one in the country receptionist don't think it's a small place a salary can let me just keep quiet Oh, don't don't think reception is like you are thinking one small kiosk no that's a place where only kings enter and i said my god you need more in this life brothers and sisters i'm not teaching you to be lazy but i'm telling you that if you want to command a voice 
you can carry your first class degree and get a job and meet somebody who was the son of a herbalist who also got the job with you and they say we are considering someone for promotion and he's laughing at you already he's pitying you because he knows one week to the promotion interview your leg refuses to move from your bed and you come to the office and he says well just to let you know that you had me you had that they say my father is a herbalist <laughs> the wicked world that we live in i know someone who was promoted true story sat down on his chair for the first time and died on the chair there they went to consult all kinds of people some habali says his wife that killed him some other habali says the guy that mops the the office that killed him it doesn't matter he's dead he's dead who killed you it's not a, you are dead can you know god to a point that someone is concocting a charm the first portion he drops fire response fire and says no no there are some touch notes ah, ah. he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm listen something happened i think it was last week one of our dear ones some of these touts these boys around that catch people collect phones and the rest and i got to hear that one of our dear ones as he went home he was whether he was on his way going home or he went home i think he went home and then went to get something or so afterwards that some of these touts these guys just attacked him they attacked him collected phone this they caught him like this with a knife like a ram they showed it to me when i was in lagos over the over the, the, the week i just came back today and then when i saw it i was just laughing i allowed them the protocol and the rest to shut the door i got down on my knees i said lord except i am not anointed the person who did this thing listen when i said that by evening they had caught them they are right now as you call alex outside the police now right now do you know how they caught them they after that prayer the guy now went to go and waylay somebody he didn't know he was a police officer then they caught him and packed all the phones and the phone they picked was the guy's own they called and his friend was with him in the hospital as it is today they are carrying him to the hospital to identify him and only god knows what they will do for him do you know god that much that the bowing of your knees can manipulate anything in the earth realm see let me tell you if you don't understand this most times you would think people are boasting when someone says i will pray for you you've heard that thing i will pray for you doesn't pray for us so because you know his prayer is powerless but there are people if they say they will pray for you rejoice they are not using your faith he said for this cause i paul bow my knees to the father i'm praying for your sake ah jesus prayed for us so john 17 he prayed for us When I was coming, the military people came to greet me. I said, please, you people should use those boys to teach people in this area that there are still apostolic and prophetic voices. We are not just acting nonsense here. And then all kinds of young boys just go and continue oppressing people. What devil? What nonsense? I'm saying it again. Let me announce across this territory that any gentleman, any lady, whether you are here or not, that gets up to manipulate people, boggle their house, I command the earth to fight them from tonight. That some of them will go to bed and lie down and not wake up. The territory should know that God has voices. It's not by coming on TV and making noise. Elijah said there shall be no rain. We need to sanitize this spiritual environment. Halagbara, by the mighty God, hey, Latobi.
but the people you don't need to know everything about God you just need to know the dimension of him revealed to you I don't boast of knowing everything about God there are some things about God I totally don't know but let me tell you there are dimensions of God that he has shown me by his grace your pursuit if you want to be relevant to a generation you must know these dimensions of God going to church is not enough are you hearing what I'm saying praying and fasting is not knowing God there are only tools to help you know God one of the major reasons why people don't know God is they don't give him time be careful with this I'm busy I'm busy you need to give God time to know him our generation we pray we fast we sing we go to church but we are unwilling to give God time to know him if you see people doing three days fast there's fire on the mountain real fire on the mountain Lord where are you then the fire goes down and you leave him that you sit down and say Lord I want to know you what message do I have to my generation you must know God I'm challenging every one of us here please tell yourself the truth and stop allowing people to just clap for you and say wow prayer warrior wow fasting giant wow word word revelation signs signs and wonders producer and you move around fooling yourself that you know God and life tests you and there is nothing about God that you know it says that I may know him pray one minute and say Lord reveal yourself reveal yourself to me oh God that I may know you Lord I'm tired of ordinary Christianity without power show me your glory show me your grace hallelujah there are things you must know about God there are things I know about men um, I used to have what I, I, I cannot I can't remember who exactly but there used to be one gentleman years ago I used to tease him he looked very powerless as a man but you don't see any power you can almost shake him and I said, if they ever tell me you fought somebody, I won't believe because I know you. I know you enough to know you are not even strong to lift a sizable chair. So if somebody tells you that that guy finished beating one police officer, you just laugh. I say, except the anointing came on him. There was something David knew about God that made him stand before Goliath. We stand and face the challenges in life based on the knowledge of God that we have the armies of Israel had the same weapons that David would later hold but they could not confront Goliath there was something Goliath too knew he was not just big Goliath was not the only giant in the land even among the Israelites they were also giants but they stood and Goliath was a warring wicked man and David said don't mind him carry the sling said I'm going to remove this your head you will fall down I will use your sword cut it and feed the birds Goliath said am I a dog he said you will soon know when he wound that thing it was not just his hand winding it there was an anointing and he hit Goliath once Goliath himself was shot that he fell there was something Joshua oh bless his name Joshua knew about God and he said go round don't mind all this big mountain for nothing notice that all the challenges are usually very big Jericho 
Goliath, Red Sea. So don't be surprised when yours is big. Why will you expect it to be small? How then will God be glorified? 25 years barrenness. Are we together? There is something you need to know about God. That you will stand before a generation and they'll say, Ma, it's two years and you are not pregnant yet. He said, just wait. And all of a sudden, by the third year, triplets will come. Nine years in three years. And they'll come and say, ah, you just gave birth. I didn't give birth. I manifested miracles. Don't call that is not delivery. You go and try it. If you get triplets, show me the science of producing triplets. I know something about God. Where someone threatens you and says, in this office, they bow to me to rise. If you are not willing to bow to me with honorarium of one million and then respect, you are not rising. No. And everybody above you will say, just this guy is connected to the presidency. And he say, all right, sir, may God bless you. And you go back in the night and do something that will make that man call you in a hurry and sign your document. And you say, just, just for starters, to let you know that there are men and there are men. Are we together? Someone plants a charm to kill you. And he's sleeping in his room. The charm meets him there physically again. Charm said, you sent me. And somebody changed my direction and brought me to the same place. I remember years ago, one of our lady went to meet a herbalist in this place. This, this one, a herbalist for something like that. She kept giving him money, was concocting a charm for something. And then the last one now, he now asked for an honorarium of 30,000. I said, her, or he, he now started calling her number. You better come and fulfill your audition. You have made me start the charm. True story. You will run mad. And she now ran to me, came and confessed his pressure, A and B and C happened. I said, warn that Habali so my concern is not the charm, it's his life. Tell him that he should check in the realm of the spirit. You don't speak like that if you have not met God. Because many people have made bold face. When I used to counsel people in Area E, some of the protocol people would testify. People would come with a letter. You would think it's mineral they are holding for me until they open it. You will now see that it's a charm. They collected it from one baba and brought it. And I said, bring it. I look at it as a nonsense. You ask the charm to come. There is something you need to know. This world is wicked. If all you know is what your eyes have seen, you better start crying because there are arrows that fly by day. You, you don't need to offend anybody. Who are your offend? Nonsense. It's a wicked world. You mean this lady is getting married? Ah, no. We have to do something. Haba. You mean this man is the one, this young man is the one building this house? No. Ah, ah, ah. You mean is this, this young guy PhD? No. It took me 11 years to get PhD. Why will he get PhD in four years? No. You mean this young lady, five children? No way. Our world is wicked. It's not in news. Are we together? Years ago, um, one gentleman that I know got married in Kaduna. And then we went then to go and just celebrate with them. And while they were bringing the gift, true stories. I like praying for gifts. We noticed, I was sitting down and I noticed after everybody had dropped everything, the wedding was almost over. And then a woman just came with something that looks like a bucket, just dropped it. I tapped one of my colleagues and said, the Lord just showed me something. We opened that bucket, true story. And we, you know this bucket, you put sugar or semovita, white, this white bucket. We saw it with a stone in the middle. I lifted it, I said, you see this? This is fruitfulness blocked. That woman will get married now until her husband drives her and says, we can't marry two men. Go, let me look for a woman. And I told them, I said, you people should just be praying on the other gift. Just leave me with this one. Can you confront the gates of darkness and go to bed? If they bring a charm for you now and say, sorry, 
help me and scatter it please will you say come for koinonia on friday or come and drop it in miracle service or say, no 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 apostle is busy bring it and you hold it and without saying any prayer from where you are holding it someone is jumping from their house and saying i won't do it again ah. may god make us a powerful generation all this ministry of just falling down and he said two people will fall the realm of the spirit is higher than that oh you need results shift in people's destiny just falling down and rolling and standing up they that know their god you get up and have a dream and in that dream you see that there's obituary every month in your house you don't sit quietly and then everybody starts dying and you say ah people are dying that's not the time to start disturbing me i say apostle you are sleeping ah prayer department benga promise pastor alpha kenny no you get up and you say he's not only the god of abraham he's not only the god of isaac you are my god And you announce to Satan and say if you if you near the vicinity of my family again it's a decree it's not pride know when to be a lion and know when to be a lamb no warrior is a lamb in the face of battle whoever told you that this world is a playground you must know God greatness is warfare Greatness is not just an equation A plus B equals to greatness No sir I say it jokingly Only God knows the shrines on earth That my name has gone to Maybe your Zaria city Any other place Oh God let him sleep and not wake up While they finish the charm I just stretch Shabaso skabarando kasilia kata God gives men the power to lay it down and the power to take it up. You must know God. Take the time to know God. You don't know God by a one hour weekly service. No sir. You don't know God by a five minutes Bible study. You don't know God by an occasional fast when there's trouble. You don't know God by a fire brigade closed door retreat. You give God time and say, Lord, I want to know you. I want to know you. I want to see your face. I want to know you, Lord. I want to touch you. I want to hear your voice. I want to love you more. There are many of us tonight, God is calling and saying, Stop this religion and be serious with me. Stop this religion. I'm a deacon in my church. I'm an elder. I'm the chairman of marriage counseling. I am the pastor in charge of choir. I'm no settle down and say lord i want to know you reveal yourself i'm tired of lying and pretending i don't have boldness because i don't know you knowing god is not becoming a pastor listen to my message knowing god experientially god uses experiences to reveal men you can't just know god every experience in your life now is an opportunity to know a dimension of god don't waste it by crying around like a fool say lord there must be something all of a sudden all my money has disappeared to the point that i don't have five naira instead of just saying it's an attack lord there's something you want to show me el shaddai is calling el shaddai he wants to show me that he's the all-sufficient god don't waste your pain 
Don't waste your tears. Use them as an opportunity to know something about God. Apostle have been barren five years. All right. Use the opportunity to know something about God. So that the next time you are saying he can make a way in the wilderness. It's not a song. It's your life. Are we together? Apostle, I had a dream. In that dream, I saw five points. When my result came out, I saw 2.5. Cry. There is something about God you need to know. It is because many people don't know God. That's why they don't receive some prayers. Notice that people receive prayers according to their level of insight about God. When you pray and say in the name of Jesus, favor, amen. But when you say in the name of Jesus, someone who has no business coming to you, I call, ah, they just say amen. Careless amen that doesn't have faith in it. Because that dimension of God has not been captured. Let me give us one more and we pray for tonight. We'll continue next week. Contending for generational relevance contending for kingdom relevance those who will reign in this kingdom must be men and women who know God whether you are a businessman whether you are whatever you must know God you know sometimes sometimes I counsel people when I travel and um, while I'm counseling them the Lord begins to show me something like charms that they have in their houses or something that they tie on their waist for protection and preservation and yet they come and sit down as a man of God do you know if you are not powerful that thing will fight you in the name of praying for somebody oh God let this guy win chairmanship and that night you sleep and an old man walks you in a dream one word two words be careful and just leaves you and you wake up with headache you don't know where it's coming from and where it is going to you go to the hospital nothing for one week then he comes again say so be careful then the headache stops the next time somebody comes for you to pray for him you say no please go to koinonia when dagon was put face to face with the ark of god the ark didn't remove hands to touch him they came back in the morning and met Dagon. If he just fell backwards, that's not honor. It fell face forward. May your life from tonight be a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Listen, my prayer for you, Koinonia, hear me, is that you don't mock yourself by praying three hours and yet you are afraid of every manifestation of the valley of the shadow of death these boys that scam years ago they sent a text to my phone one i think it's a text they sent to people we are watching you now from where we are and something 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 you have, you have it's like they are threatening you maybe they are watching you through a window somewhere and i, I said look at this they can now lie to you and say go and drop hundred thousand near the green tree near your house and you would think they are really watching you whereas it's a general text they send to everybody fear can create images are we together you have a dream and in the dream dead people are coming to visit you you don't get up and say i saw my father he died 1983 thank god he's your father but what does the living have to do with the dead do you know when you see dead people in your dream I don't mean departed saints now glorified dead people in your dream that's the spirit of the grave that's not the spirit of death that's the, the grave itself has a spirit it's a magnet it's calling you like you are invoking that's what is happening you don't get up and say chai nigeria said no what is nigeria shabakatos kalabata oh death where is thy sting Oh grave, where is thy victory? You pray in tongues for five minutes. Distribute fire everywhere. And ask that devil to use the face of your father again. It's not your father. It is appointed once for men to die. 
the man you see that you are calling your father is not your father is a devil carrying the face of your father what what father your father is there enjoying in heaven and the devil is using the face of one person come come to us come we are calling you let's go home come and eat yam see palm oil what nonsense is that that's what happens to a lot of people they just get up and an infirmity has entered their spirit they go to the hospital and check again and again and again until they die the living has nothing to do with it. if i see anybody i know who has died if it is of god departed saints in light i know if it is a demon spirit i know there is a gulf what fellowship has light got to do with please i'm teaching you this thing if we dwell just in knowing god those who will stand and represent the purposes of god you need to look at the spirit of death eyeball to eyeball we're coming from 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 lagos and and i think it was because of the weather and the pilots too my god the plane was as if it was it was just playing around i was sleeping ask them i was sleeping ah if it will crash i will enter if i enter it will not crash ah apostle the other i don't know who that other person is and what he believes he said let the redeemed of the lord say so you know in this world don't trouble anybody and nobody will trouble. what nonsense are you saying like that the bible said declare ye that ye might test be justified jesus prophesied that i would die but i will come back if jesus didn't say it he will not resurrect let him that glory it glory in this please brothers and sisters there are several people here we thank god for the crowds but koinonia god is not just looking for crowds god is looking for quality people that know god not just the uh, man of god pray for me man of god pray for me on everything man of god sing for me man of god worship for me when will you now build capacity to be a blessing it's all right you can start small our little children in this ministry are more spiritual than most of you these little kids you see the fire you stand near them and see the presence that oozes out of them because of the simplicity of their heart they are feeding with the food of adults as children pray they pray fast they fast some of them come to meet me after service my daddy is sick my this is sick i tell them darling bring your hand i place my hand and i say go and lay your hands and truly they will do it but adults they won't do it they'll just say don't don't worry apostle just rub your face with with handkerchief and give it because you are afraid of embarrassment Is God speaking to us today by the grace of God and with all humility there are things that I know about God that has brought rest to my life I show you how to be free from worry no God there are things when you know about God when others are crying you are laughing you are not laughing because you are inhuman you are laughing because of a rest that the knowledge of God has given you it was Bishop Koyedepo who said one time his wife was pregnant and all of a sudden they noticed she was spotting and then, you know, medically speaking, they said she's lost the baby and he just shouted. He said, is it a baby you are delivering or blood? My dinner, please. Come on now. That word maintained that child in that stomach until he gave birth. Blessed is she that believes for unto her, not unto them, unto her, some of you can be listening to me and say, ah, man of God, wow, you can preach well. Life will not ask you whether you're a preacher. The way the devil hates me, if I didn't know what I'm telling you now, he would have killed me since. The devil doesn't want me to backslide, he wants me to die.
so a thousand falls by your right ten thousand by, by your side ten thousand by your right side ah, ah. pastor alpha you are still standing i thought people in kogi state don't rise after certain places no 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 i come from zion ah, i thought your your father worshiped his shrine so I, I thought that the ladies in your place don't stay three years after they get married I, I thought the men that come from from this state are irresponsible men say i don't know who they are but there's something about the knowledge of god is giving me confidence can anything good come out of nazareth yes sir yes sir please prophesy one minute to yourself i leave to praise your name I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. I live, I live, I live, I live to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. revelation of God to stamp the face of fear fear of marriage will I marry will I give birth will I have male and female what if my husband dies and leaves me what if my wife dies and leaves me will I be prosperous will the church grow the revelation of God is the antidote to fear God is love and when love is perfected in you it casts out fear Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Alpha and Omega, hey, hey. my trust is in you. I put them on you. Hey, my trust is in you. Sing it with faith in your heart. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. We'll continue next week. Hold hands with someone and begin to blast in tongues. Let the realm of the spirit hear your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray. Don't ask anything, just pray. But the people that do know their God, but the people that do know their God, but the people that do know their God, but the people that do know their God. I know you are a merciful God. I know you are a restoration God. I know you are a lifting God. I know you are a gracious God. I know you are a mighty God. The lifter of men. Alpha, Omega. Hallelujah. Listen. If all you know about God is that He's a merciful God, that dimension itself can take you through your lifetime. If all you know about God is that He can restore, you will never cry when things leave you. If all you know about God is that He's the God of the suddenlies, five minutes to shame. He shows up. Lord, I know you. God is a miracle worker. God is you are a glorious God.
God is a God of the suddenness. My brother, my sister, God can wipe the shame of men. He said, have you ever heard this proverb that in one day a woman gives birth? Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know you. I know you as a miracle worker. I know you as a destiny changer. Change my life. Change my story. Change my life. Wipe my tears. Take away the shame from my life. song one more time but thou oh Lord had a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head that's the name that is called but thou oh Lord had a shield for me my glory my glory and the lifter Hallelujah. 
Number two, Lord, by your mercy, reveal yourself to me. Please pray. Everyone that ask it, receive it. Lord, I've been crying for marriage, for money, for prosperity, for anointing. But reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself. Pray. Just a few minutes and we're done. life and destiny that you who is seen as a rejected stone they've concluded on you in your family they've even called you names that depict you as being a failure but in the name of Jesus out of that ashes of shame out of that ashes of disappointment out of that ashes of being a non-entity may the hand of the Lord pick you and shoot you like a star for everyone to see I'm praying I don't know who has concluded about your destiny men sit down and discuss you and they even laugh it's true that Jesus died but he only died for three days. He didn't die forever. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, while you are discussing my fall, yet I rise again. I command the grace for resurrection. Arise from shame. Arise from pain. Arise from disappointment. Hear me? Some of you are in ministry here and you've not seen the grace of God and you are about to give up did God really call me if he called me why am I not getting the kind of apostles result I bring you a word of hope be patient with God oh because in the midst of that ashes of pain and disappointment and two members is a transgenerational anointing don't be too quick to give up on God God called you to the ministry of kingdom financing but as it is now you don't even have transport back after koinonia and every time you tell people they laugh at you brothers and sisters let me tell you 
God, my God, look what he's done with my life. God is a lifter. God is a blesser. God is a surpriser. Don't let no devil sit down and compartmentalize you. You are from this tribe. You are from this place. Oh, all you have is a diploma, not a master's. All you have is a degree, not a PhD. Oh, you don't have any godfather anywhere. What rubbish is that? Have you not learned that with God, with God, with God, without God, some things are not possible. But when he comes into the equation, with God, without God, I cannot rise up. Without God, I cannot prosper, but with God. When he holds your hands and says, son, let's go. Don't be afraid of the giants that stand. No. The Lord is comforting many of us. There are giants on everyone's mountain. You are not the only one with giants. When you watch people laugh, it's because they have learned how to keep Goliath down. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always. Successful people are not people without challenges. They are people who have mastered the art of victory. They know when to dance when others are crying. They know when to speak when others are quiet. Ah! They know when to cry before God when others are crying before men. They know when to sacrifice when others are withholding. They know when to stay when others are going. This ministry you see. Thank God for the results that you see and hear. But it's not luck. There is something about God you know that your results can be predictable. There's no, ah, apostle, be careful. What if tomorrow there's no result? Which God are you talking about now? Return back to your homes tonight with an appetite to know God. You can use some time this weekend or at least before we continue next week. There are other things to teach you. But please go back and sit down and ask yourself, am I just a church goer? Am I just a prayer man? Am I just a Bible study Christian? Or do I know God? When challenges stand before me, what name of God do I know that I can call? When all my enemies surround me and it's obvious they are going to defeat me, what do I know about God that turns the hand of things? Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your son. Your spirit until the work on earth is done. Sing it one more time and we're done for tonight. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us, for giving us your son. Like the streams of the naked, lift your voice and cry. Believe me, brothers and sisters, when you pray, God hears you. Turn again the captivity. Man breke kete ke bana kakata breku sakata kapere kete in prakatosti kapara kade zakata ekuta breke kete ke bana kakata bana gani mo in pata breke kete ke bana gana mo sa in breke kete sakata breke kete 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 in prakatosti kapata re 
Hallelujah. I like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead. Mention what must leave your life tonight. <laughs> Rakapata, Pekete Katosa, in Kapanda Kate Kata, Rekepata, Liponsi Palamana, Lekata Prakata Sekete, in Patata, Rekutata, Sepalamana, in Protosa Pata Prekete, Alabado Sikata, Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. Out of seven graduates, nobody has ever been called for employment. Not even, not, I'm not talking of, I'm, I said, interview. Seven graduates, no one called for interview. And the gentleman, according to what he sent me, he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept and that's what he said he said he saw me in the dream i came and i prophesied it was like a koinonia service i laid hands on him and i mentioned the name of an organization that will call him true story he said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview now i don't know whether or not they have given him the job i don't know that part but that's God at work from a dream prophecy you wake up physically with the alert you didn't apply ah. listen listen don't let men fool you this God bar let me tell you when God decides to help you don't tell him how he would do it your ways his ways are higher higher than our ways his thoughts higher than our thoughts when when you see it's an act of faith to let god choose how to surprise you yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith and let him choose how to rise and bless you you may be asking god for a cup of tea whereas he's coming with a hamper for you lord one cup of tea and i'm grateful and god says no if i give you a cup of tea man can also give you let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me are we together three things i want to tell you we'll pray one more time number one god can act very fast he looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you listen to what i'm telling you don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like god is too slow god can act mysteriously fast i was watching a documentary i like watching documentaries um and on, on a, a, a national geographic channel and then they were showing how these animals all these these sea mammals how they eat one another and sometimes with lightning speed a giant creature can in fractions of a second just dissect another animal and i said wow so don't be deceived by the weight that it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow that your god is mighty that heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you he can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth god we're talking god here number one god can act fast so that you don't limit god and say lord i know you will act but um no problem no number two listen very carefully god can surpass your wildest imagination 
now it's difficult to understand but you must believe it God can surpass your wildest imagination he can he can so that it's good that you bring your petitions before him but that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that God decides to give you and then number three Satan and all the limitations that stand before you listen carefully have been defeated not will be defeated have been defeated what happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory It's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact but it's true because it came from the mouth of God himself that it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce so that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you and now begin to ask yourself questions but how will God do this promise how is God going to do this if God does it this way there's already a blockage here if God follows this way it will have to be five years before it happens if God uses this method my uncle already hates me and God says you only gave me three methods I have methods as infinite as my names I can use anything I can use a fish to give you coins I can use a donkey to speak to you I can use a bird to bring you bread it doesn't always have to be men it just has to be material bodies I can use anything are we together so tonight as we pray why are we here you have to understand number one we are here we are here to clear the way the forces remember there will always be forces that contend against the word of God we are here to challenge them because most times those forces stand our way they contend with prophecy when the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes number two we are here to allow the anointing of the Holy Spirit to produce possibilities in our lives the anointing of the Holy Spirit is his force is his instrument for producing change he creates by his anointing it is his word but that word must be anointed are we together now the word of God without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody could not bless anybody the word just roam around the streets of Nazareth but when the word became anointed it became Christos the anointed so the word of God is coming to your life. I want you to be very sensitive, whether it is the prophetic word, whether it's an instruction to pray, whether it is the deliverance session. Don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that. Let your heart connect. Be angry. There is an obstacle for sure. You go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you. You get up and say, it's all right. How can it be all right? If it's all right, who invited them to your life? Good things about to happen to you all of a sudden. Your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you and they give a bad word that closes your door, recycles your pain again. And then for many of us, what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men, the men component. God helps by bringing men. God can agree with you. Men can disagree. You will still suffer. God agreed for David to become king. Samuel refused. David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed. Men can stop your breakthrough. It's not just demons. Men can stop your breakthrough. And not all men are castable. There are men who are gates even though they are hedonistic. God doesn't cast them. He gives you access to their heart. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't drive because there are still gates. Are we together? Lord, I'm ready for you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. pray Lord I'm ready for you this is my family
Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on Hallelujah, say hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, glory to the Father, you are seated on Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Father. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, you are seated on. Hallelujah. Abalakato Sadia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on. You are seated on the throne, but be welcome here tonight. You are seated on the throne, you are welcome here tonight. You are seated on Seated on the throne, you were seated on the throne, you were seated on the throne, you were seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Now let me do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen. In here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabala kato sabada siata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. 
Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains. Be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken. By the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Kabarakatos. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit is breaking chains over flow one, two, three online. Chains. Chains of captivity. All kinds of bondages. Every force of darkness. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray. That if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now. Because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there, outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the Spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said the, a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the Spirit, by the fire 
of the Holy Ghost every viper hiding in any family hiding in any destiny be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now every viper every snake scorpion hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father who was seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Forces fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment. On the forces fighting your advancement I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement overflow one lift your hands please everyone in overflow one lift your hands the Lord is ministering to me overflow one lift your hands there is a mighty deliverance that is coming there at the count of three overflow one i want you to shout jesus as you shout jesus i'm seeing gates with chains breaking are you ready now one two three bring that lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady but in the spirit I'm watching I'm not saying you're a bad girl my dear all I'm seeing is a serpent I'm not seeing a human being in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I expose that serpent now glory to the father you are seated on the cross hallelujah hallelujah I want to pray a very interesting prayer don't mind me just allow me I'm ministering under the anointing I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit and if it doesn't sound logical don't worry just let me do the prayer snakes be judged snakes be judged Snakes be judged. Snakes, serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged, be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes, be judged. I'm 
I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire, not impartation, fire consuming people's head. And God is saying his restoration of lost glory. That's what I'm seeing. Restoration. Something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away. I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads. Where are they, oh God? I stretch my hands now. Let the fire bring restoration. 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 Help them, please. Restoration. 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 I command restoration of every lost glory. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. All those who are out in front under the anointing here, I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood, it leaves you now one, two, three, go, 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 go out of their lives in the name of Jesus, out of their lives. When the blood speaks, nothing else speaks again. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure, but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house. You may not even know it. This is something that happened a while ago. And whatever it is, seemed to backfire when it came to money issues. He didn't go and pay, like give the herbalist whatever it is. That's what God is showing me now. And I'm seeing that because of that, every door in that family, everything just closed. I'm going to pray. Lord, wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online i'm praying right now by the mercy of the god of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists i cancel it right now in the name of jesus i cancel it right now in the name of jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. Rebecca, like Becky. Rebecca. Rebecca. I'm hearing a name, Rebecca. Rebecca. You are seated on the throne. Stand up. You are Rebecca. That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came from? alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother, my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My, you, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from What's Abuja. What's your name? Asmao Rebecca. 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 Asmao. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia, the place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
This woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Rebecca. Huh? Rebecca. You are Rebecca, mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Samnaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, sir. I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her, just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. It's over now, in Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming and anointing is leaving me to you and it's for your family from next month you will start hearing strange testimonies open doors mama you are rebecca who else is rebecca all of you are rebecca i'm going to pray for you Kai, ma i have to pray for you yes ma the spirit of death is following your family I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom i want to pray for you father in the name of jesus christ I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, I'm, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ name of Jesus Christ um, this, this mama doesn't speak English I think she speaks Yoruba she, she speaks Yoruba who is Ejimin, can you come or someone just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough you can whisper it now here it doesn't have to be it's your mother come the Lord is breaking the Lord is breaking a yoke, the yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire, just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay, I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, I say it again, be judged now. The spirit of delay, shadow kasudos. The spirit of delay be judged now. The spirit of delay, open your heart, open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay be judged now. Any kind of delay, the spirit of delay be judged now. The spirit of delay be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. breakthrough for your family God is bringing breakthrough mama God is bringing breakthrough your son will tell you in Yoruba in the name of Jesus Christ there's something on you that makes wrong people come to you I have to pray for you Are you I'm looking at you very bad people come to you for bad reasons no serious person you know what I'm saying I don't want to start bringing long it's not there is something there's a spirit in you that attracts those kind of people they will never pass you and go free they must turn back and this thing is destroying your life hold my hands 
Shout Jesus. Look at this. So you just think it's just love. You are in love with a beautiful girl. It's not just love. Out now. Go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power. Any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there, you can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus. Anyone from that region. That's the reason the anointing of the Spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. The strong men within those regions. Let God's people go now. Release them right now. The spirits of the grave. The spirits of ancestry. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Father. Please lift your hands. We'll pray for the sick shortly. But there are people here. Why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing. I just saw it. I don't know where they are. They are in almost every overflow. There are representations. Lord Jesus, anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing, let that anointing come. This is your moment now. Receive it now. Ordained by God. To receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again. The anointing to bring healing. To transport the power of God. From the throne to their lives. Receive that anointing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama. Come please. Please help her. She's not running by herself. It's under the anointing. Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension, just hold on. A new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! This mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised. There is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness. For barrenness. I'm praying. Help that lady, please. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace, the grace in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you, just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. 
the light shines out of darkness god is removing something from your chest i'm seeing something leaving you i don't know what this is but in the name of jesus christ i stand in front of you be free right now be free right now be free right now all of you who are standing here in the name of jesus i agree with you and i declare come let me touch your child i'm going to pray for favor when you hear me say favor lift your hands and receive you need it in your life too many people have taken advantage of you even as I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it, eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I your talked father, to you about it before. You told me about yes, it. Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin's sister. Your cousin's sister is missing? Yes. All these people, they are, leave them. Their loved ones are, just find out once they are, don't please, if, if you are not related to the people, don't, please don't come here. We are going to pray generally. If you, if you do it like that, there will be chaos. How about you? Yes, sir, my in-law. Your in-law? Yes, sir. What do you mean your in-law? From the United States. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing? Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother? Yes, sir. Missing? Since when? 2014. 2014? They've not seen him. Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. Your, ch your child is alive. This boy, you see, are they twins or is he the same person? This one. Is one. Yeah. He's, he's the only one. What but happened to him? He, he left school. I put him in APU. He refused. Poly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over times, they call me in the police station or your state, but I caught that he's arrested. I don't know how they set him free at times. You see, our, honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, mama. He's your only son. Only son. One, one, okay, one. That's all. Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. Because the devil sat down and saw that these boys will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the APU, he left the school and go away. What's his name? 
Awal is his name. Awal. Awal. Yes. Hi. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they were they smoking did, Igbo. Police came and drugs. packed them with his friends. Drugs. This what Mama, let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than with due respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now, seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, codeine, again. Uh, mama, 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 don't worry. It's... it's it's, it's okay it's okay because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money they will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie you give them hundred naira you give, once you give them enough to take this thing they will disappear and go and rubbish it let me tell you there is none of those boys that is bad in himself there is none of those girls that are bad in themselves is the influence of spirits nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day mama you have come for miracle service god will do something about your situation who is this my brother it's my mom younger brother your for mom's over, younger brother yes for missing. over 10 years we have not seen him 10 years yes, you've sir. not seen him oh pray how about you sir my elder you're brother. the pastor that came from worry yeah. Okay. from delta state from delta state okay. uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago we really forget forgot about him in ghana he was in ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing yes. okay let me pray with you it's an instruction because some of the situations now they are even very difficult situations i i don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the lord or whatever but my job is to pray because god has instructed me to pray mama please stop crying you came here with faith in your heart let me tell you you must eat the fruit of your labor and i'm saying this i'm using this mother as a point of contact not just to every mother here but to all our mothers the force that wants them to labor and die in pain go to their graves in pain we challenge that force now in the name of jesus christ it's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying. Everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now with the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus. And when he called Lazarus, he came out. I call them by their various names in the spirit. For as long as they are alive and walking on this earth, I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families. Those who have been jailed because, you see, some of these people, let's be very fair, some of them, they, they smuggle their way out of the country. They go to Libya, they go to all of these places. Some of them go to do prostitution, unfortunately. Some of them go because they want to make money. Someone tells them, come, travel, and all of that. So some of them, they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know. But regardless of the case, for as long as they are on earth, we cry for mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, may they be reconnected back to you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. 
I hope someone is holding that person shouting me. My friend, come. You are doing your ushering work, but I will pray for you before you go back. Eh? Look at me. I'm looking at you. The Lord is telling me to tell you, August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you. Hold my hands. August 7th, don't forget, write it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this gentleman. You have revealed to me August 7th. I prophesy to him. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. I'm seeing a ring, a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives. Right now, I stretch my hands. That's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things. I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying, but you just allow me to pray. Every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife, I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit. Be free from them now. Ladies, be free now. I command those spirit entities to release you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the gentleman, I command freedom for you now. From any entity laying claims over you. You go to bed and they come to you in the night. They try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals. Anyone under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep, fire is coming on you now. 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 I command that they let you go now. For some of us, when good things are about to happen, just when you are about to get it, you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream. As soon as you wake up from that experience, no matter what it is, it's gone. Whether it is favor, whether it is breakthrough, fire is still speaking. I'm praying. At the count of three, oh God, you who is a mighty deliverer, I pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now. One, two, three. Let there be deliverance for you now. Deliverance for you now from any spirit entity. Laying claims on your destiny. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This lady with lime, yes, you come. No, look at me, look at me. I'm talking that one with you, yes, come. Where are you coming from? Benway. Benway State. Look at me. Look at this. Are you seeing? She just stood there. And while I was looking, I just saw a spirit through her look at me and turn the face. Now, it's very funny how these things work. See, one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes. If your eyes are closed in this life, and all that is open is your brain, you will be in trouble. Open eyes is not something just for prophets. It's one of the true riches of the kingdom. You must cry that God will open your eyes. Not to see nonsense around, to see something that is destiny molding. Now look at this girl. How will I stand and see someone there 
and call her out. Imagine that this lady went back like this. To her, she will now say, oh God, so this is how you didn't locate me. Sensitivity, discernment is a priceless spiritual gift. Sensitivity. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. Not wishing, praying in the Holy Ghost. You activate your organs. You have to pray for a long time in the spirit. For your spirit to be heightened. To be able to perceive spiritual things. Otherwise you will get into all kinds of error. Wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see it was something else but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life. Very bad luck. I have to pray for you. She just came quietly standing. This I would have shared the grace. And the dear lady will go back. And then it will look as if God is not in the place. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing you cough. I'm seeing her cough. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That she's beginning to cough. I don't know why, what is having to do with coughing. But in the name of Jesus Christ. Shatos Kalabarianda Shibrasia. Let everything that speaks against you leave now. This lady swallowed something in the dream. Someone came to her, gave her something, and she swallowed in the dream. If you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl, but this is the operation in her life. There are people, do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see, that if they don't get discernment, they go around saying, someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life you can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship everything goes down and she knows she loves god but if you are not discerning you will now call the poor girl a witch and everybody will start running away from her she's not a witch there is just a challenge and then if you also say she's all right like that and somebody marries her that guy's life will be torn into pieces this is the testimony of so many families it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true human beings carry spirits they carry presence father liberty for her the devil is already ah someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of jesus christ that devil of fibroid we pray for the sick shortly we'll be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of jesus christ our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen i want you if you are coming here to be prayed for come full of faith you don't have to say what is wrong with you if you are not asked don't worry and all of us who are going to pray for the sick we are going to make this very fast are we together now um as always overflow one and part of overflow two part of overflow two you will come in here, come and stand in front here. Uh, no, no, not main auditorium, sorry, not overflow one. The main auditorium and then half of overflow two. Allow them to come here. Overflow one, move to your projector stand, please. The remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside, you can move to the projector stand. 
overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, I, I don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a god that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and and then if if there are not many pr department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's let's make it very We're going to make it very fast please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for we may not have time to take testimonies we are just going to pray very very quickly hallelujah okay let's see um ejimi ejimi and benga overflow three two of you can go to overflow three um let's see pastor alpha and promise overflow one outside pastor femi and kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray i'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name. Hail Yahweh. Great.
the name fade away Let every other name fade away Till there's only you Let every other name fade away Let every other name fade away Jesus, take the upper lip
say
Let's lift our hands. Please stretch your hands here, everyone. I hope the requests are all here. If you are yet to submit yours, just wave it and someone should reach you. Please stretch your hands here and begin to prophesy. It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure. Make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online connect by faith and praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. Sharp krakato shigadibala. Zebra teka teka te proto superabash. And teka toko to soto parakato shepre teka desh. Kalabara naba senya naba naramosh. I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders. Breakthroughs. Impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf. And I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today in the name that is above all names may you see them no more forever I say it again that the Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever some of you before this month is over you will return with strange testimonies it's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month between now and even tomorrow May you return with strange testimonies. Whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered, may it be so. Whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus. Lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now. We're rounding up. The miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word. Prophecy is powerful. It's powerful. It creates I release testimonies to your life. Let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it. I release testimonies to your life. 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 To your life. The key that you need to open the door for the next level may it be handed it over to you in the spirit the kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus 
May the God that gives favor to men grant you favor. In the name of Jesus. For those in need of restoration, I prophesy, receive restoration. For those in need of an urgent miracle, a miracle that has to happen on time, otherwise it will cost you i stretch my hands in the name that is above all names let it happen to you even within 24 hours let there be that miracle. for those who have never had an opportunity to laugh every time you want to laugh something comes that must force you to cry i announce to you the season of your laughter begins tonight where you have been despised i place an anointing upon you and tonight i call you beulah and hefzibah in the name of jesus christ anyone here in ministry and things are not working you are doing your best but it's just not working receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders anyone here in business in the name of jesus you are entering the season of your best days from now. Anyone here trusting God for a job, for you or for your loved ones, between now and the next miracle service, return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Every challenge plaguing your family, not just you, a family thing, everyone is crying from it could be patterns could be whatever it is i stretch my hands right now and in the name that is above all names i bring those patterns to an end now for those trusting god for financial miracles your miracle the area you are trusting god is directly in the area of finances i agree with you and i release my faith may the god that prospers men surprise you everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person return as a mother of joyful children the anointing that makes things work the grace for performance i release that grace upon your life everything that is upon your hand now i command it to work in the name of jesus christ and i announce to you let july from july 1st to july 31st may it be named a month of strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders in the name of jesus christ tonight for some of you as you sleep may my god show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of jesus christ every area where you are trusting god to give you divine direction in the name of jesus every spiritual mechanism that god can use to communicate to you i declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness i pray for you let me tell you, breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you. Your helper has the means, but he needs to have the heart. Some have the heart, but they don't have the means. You need both. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that any man and woman positioned around you that has the ability to help you, I pray that God will put it in their hearts to help you. I speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters I say it again a new level of spiritual encounters for some of you I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book not willingly but by reason of the operation of spirit the only time you open your Bible is in church or koinonia 
right now fall in love with this Bible. Fall in love with the Word of God. An appetite for the Word of God I release upon you. Every kind of spiritual laziness. You say I wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning. Or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back. It's an attack. I curse that spirit over your life. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare peace over Nigeria. We declare peace over the north. We declare peace over Plateau State. We declare peace over Kaduna State. We declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here and you need Jesus desperately. Keep standing please. You need Jesus desperately, desperately. You're saying, man of God, I need Jesus as a matter of urgency. I have seen the value. I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life. Hitherto, every time I hear about Jesus, I, I resent him. I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him. But from tonight's meeting, the Holy Spirit has convicted me. And I testify. And with all humility, I declare that I need him second category of people man of God I love Jesus with all my heart but I know that I need a strengthening in my spiritual life things have gone haywire if God does not help me there will be no way out for me you belong to these two categories overflow one overflow two main auditorium I'd like you to walk out here quickly overflow three I'd like you to run to your projector stand very quickly I'm counting one to five and we're done one God bless you appreciate them koinonia they are coming two you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. Three. Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. You are before his throne of grace. To obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four. Please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord, 
you are my savior you are my king i hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your lordship i receive eternal life i receive the spirit of god and i declare from today until forever i belong to jesus i declare that i'm a child of god the grace to walk in victory is mine amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you father we give you all the glory for drawing these ones no man can come to you except you draw them i pray that the grace that keeps men let that grace keep these ones the grace that lifts men let that grace lift them the grace that secures them let that grace secure them in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven and i declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you you will move forward ever and backward never in jesus name i pray congratulations thank you so much for this bold decision please i'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands just follow them in concert all of you there'll be a group of people to just talk and pray with you very quickly all of you god bless you let's honor them let's appreciate them hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching